located here. Okay? Sodium rushed in. The inside of my cell is always more negative than the outside of my cell. So in this case, if sodium rushed in, what happens to the negativity? Okay, so what's going to happen now, Austin, in thinking about going down, we're going to actually see something go up. Okay, so that's okay, because I know what you're thinking. All right, and running out, thinking about how the negativity is going to kind of get overtaken. Okay, so the inside of my cell is going to become more positive. If that became more positive, what happens to the gate on my voltage gate? It'll open. What gets to rush in? Remember, it's always more positive. I get more sodium rushing in. So more sodium comes in, makes this change to positive. Then what happens here? Same thing. So, as this process travels the entire length of that muscle cell, and if my calcium is available, what's going to happen next? What is calcium going to attach to? The troponin. And if it attaches to the troponin, what does it make the trophomycin do? Twist. And if the trophomycin twists, what can my myosin head now attach to? My actin and pull it. Then, if ATP is present, if ATP is present, when this little myosin head moves up and attaches to the actin, if ATP is present, it can come in, give power to that myosin head, make it release, and we start the whole process over. What is going to make this process What's going to make the calcium stop? There's no longer the signal. The stimulus from the nerve. If the stimulus stops, ACH stops, that no longer affects the sodium, affecting calcium. Calcium gets stored back into the sarcoplasmic reticulum and what do I need embedded in this plasma membrane to help me equal out the sodiums that flew into the cell? My sodium potassium pump. If my sodium potassium pump is present, I can pump my sodium out, potassium in, and I can now return my cell, my fiber, to what we're going to learn is at rest, but still has the ability to contract. Also, what? A positive charge. Something inside the cells. They are also a positive charge. However, embedded into this plasma membrane, if you remember, one of the non-gated channels 
okay? One of the non-data channels was our leak channel. And the one that it is most permeable to is potassium. So even though everything else is occurring, potassium still gets to do this number, back and forth, back and forth. The job of the sodium potassium pump is to send out, so send out three sodium, but only bring in two potassium. And because the inside has so much other stuff going on that's negative, that actually allows it to go back to negative. Or what we're going to think of as being the rest. So, muscle contraction. Because it is dealing with the pluses and the minuses, this is electrical. It is electricity. Okay? How do we know that? Can we test it? You're thinking about the E, well, I used to call it the EKG, I think yeah, now it's ECG, okay? Yeah. Yes, so we, the myogram. We can actually, I mean, we tend to think of the ECG, okay, because that's the one that somebody might be having a heart attack, that's what they're going to do. You know, they're going to put the little leads on you and see what's happening, okay? Myograms can be done the same, a similar way. They can actually place leads on an area of the body, hook it to a machine, and as the muscle contracts and relaxes, they can measure the intensity of it. So it's really pretty cool. Um, so muscle contraction, do you see now how it related to the plasma membrane that I stressed really hard at the beginning of the session. Everything boils down to this pretty much. Which is kind of Okay, so two things. We're going to learn about how we have our electricity in the muscle. Okay? So, any other questions? Yeah, are you thinking about the electroshock therapy that they give people who are depressive and manic? Like bipolar? The one that I've seen, I don't know if it's a therapy that's like you put the lead on you and come off with like Oh, that one! Like Ah, actually, that was really kind of cool. Okay? What it's going to do is, now, it doesn't really reach deep, deep, deep into the muscle, but it is strong enough that it's going to have the superficial muscle contract. And that's exactly what they do, okay? Rather than the impulse coming, say, from the actual nerve itself, it's making it happen at that junction, okay? Now, the goal of that is to increase the blood flow to that region. And in some cases, it can be very beneficial, okay? It's just not going to be an impulse coming from the nerve. They are just um, man-making the impulse at the junction, which is kind of cool. I thought she was talking about the, the one, <laughs> you know, that's not okay. So, yeah. The other one's going to try to reset the heart. 
the, oh, like with the paddles or with oh. the pop um. If your heartburn is too fast, they'll shock you to reset the heart. Oh, yeah. Where the two of a slower rhythm. And, yeah. But it, it sometimes it don't work on the first try. No. <laughs> sometimes it takes several tries to get that to work. Um, 